If you're a beginner at the piano and you're trying to learn how to read the notes in your music, either by trying to memorize every single note, doing a bunch of flashcards, or using acronyms like these, but it still feels hard when you sit down with a sheet of music and you try to remember which keys to play, stop. These methods are slowing you down and will ultimately leave you frustrated as you're learning how to play sheet music. Hey, I'm Brianne and I teach beginners how to have so much fun at the piano through reading sheet music. And yes, I believe that reading sheet music can actually be fun when you know how to read it in an easier and simpler way. So I've taught over 100 beginners now. I used to teach with these methods of memorizing every note and using flashcards and remembering the acronyms, but I no longer do because all of these methods are missing something really important. These methods only teach you how to read the music. Like you're gonna sit down with a sheet of music and that's an A, that's a G, that's an F, that's an A. No! The point of reading sheet music is so that you can play songs, not just read letter names off a sheet of paper. The reason why these methods will ultimately slow you down and leave you frustrated is because these methods only teach you how to read the notes. What you really need is to learn how to read and play at the same time. Until you learn how to do that, how to read and play at the same time, reading sheet music will always feel slow and frustrating. Now, if you're asking yourself, okay, so how do I read and play at the same time? What's the trick? Here's what you need to do. Stop reading the notes letter name and instead start reading the notes location on the piano. This is a process called mapping and it's where you start to build a map of the piano keys by associating the note on the staff with its location on the piano. Here's a quick way you can practice this even when you're not at the piano. When you see this note, start to visualize what it would look like on the piano. Imagine where you would put your hand. Imagine which section of the piano you'd be going to. Imagine what black keys would be around it. Imagine where it fits into the pattern of the piano and the keys. There's another exercise we can do with several notes. Imagine your hand falling into position to play these notes. Would you be using your left hand, right hand? What keys would you be playing? Where would they fit into the pattern of the piano? Now with mapping, I suggest that you only start with eight keys first. And the reason why is because learning how to read the notes on the staff is kind of like putting together a puzzle. There are lots of different pieces and at first it can be really confusing and overwhelming. But if you first find the edge pieces, it really helps to make sense of the puzzle from the beginning and then you can fill in all of the other pieces later on. Next week's video is specifically on how to take this method, how to take the mapping of the keys and how to use it to read the notes in your music faster and easier. So make sure you're subscribed and that you turn on your notifications so that you don't miss that video. I can't wait to show you how you can read and play sheet music at the piano in a simpler, easier way.